one of the things we do in addition to capturing and leading the imagination and emotions, right, is we offer challenges to her. We're constantly setting the frame that she has to please us, yes. prove herself to us. You're probably not the kind of person, or you probably don't really want to learn about yourself, or, you know, I don't know if you're the kind of person who's adventurous. Do you understand? Yep. We're setting the bar for her to jump over. Do you understand? So challenges, observations, knowledge about her, yes? Yep. Now, this afternoon, I'm going to go into how to bring these themes up and some examples. You understand? By the way, are you enjoying that I'm doing language pattern mastery for the rest of the day, basically? Are you yes. okay with this? Yes. You go, you break through a series of okay, things. good. Another one, hold on. Uh, get the mic. Do not talk until the mic gets to your mouth. And Tom, I haven't forgotten <coughs> testimonials. Yes. Um, just a quick question about how you're setting up those challenges. Yeah. Uh, you, you set up the challenge or the compliance momentum yeah. by first demonstrating uh, mastery of her reality or of her world, right? Understanding authority. Or understanding mastery. and authority yeah. in her world. Yeah. So then she's likely to want to please you or comply. But there's some other things I do. One of the ways I get her to start jumping through my hoops and proving herself to me is I give her quizzes early on. We're going to get to this. When I say, you know, let's see if we're snack compatible. It's a funny way of screening her. I'm not, I don't really care. But it's a humorous way of setting up the expectation that she has to prove herself to me. Guys, look here. Isn't it the case that women try to get us to jump through hoops where we have to prove ourselves to them? So when I early, I'm going to get to this. It's the next set of things I use. When I introduce these little quizzes like the snack quiz or the twin brother quiz, it's doing several things. First of all, it's setting up the frame in a funny way that she has to please me, that I'm screening her. It's doing it with humor. It's also introducing certain themes. When I do the snack quiz, the snack quiz is introducing the theme of indulgence, right? When I introduce the twin brothers, it's introducing the theme of what are, you, what are you attracted most to? What attracts you the most? Do you understand? So it's getting, oh, we'll get there. It's on my Gold Walk Up DVD. Get it. <coughs> you at home, get my Gold Walk Up DVD. Yes, question. Huh? What? Yes, all of it. It's all of this on the Gold it's Walk all Up on, DVD. Yeah, so we don't really need to write this stuff no, down now. No, but I want. But what you do should do is get the understanding from me. Yeah. Okay. Remember, the speed seducer focuses on emotions and flows of feeling and internal processes, like the thoughts she uses to convince herself she wants to get laid. We capture and lead the imagination. We offer challenges, like you're probably not the kind of person, or we do it through quizzes. And when we do quizzes like the snack quiz or twin brothers, we're not actually really saying you're not the kind of person. We're challenging her to prove herself to us. So we're, we're screening her. We want to screen her. Yes. Wait for the microphone. How many times do I have to say it? This guy. So as part as part of the snack quiz, you you had that automatic failure on the first question. Was that yeah. Part of setting yeah. Up the frame? No matter what she answers me in the first when I do the snack quiz. All right, Debbie. Let's see if we're snack compatible. Pringles or pretzels. Right. Another one I do is within one minute of talking to her, I'll say whatever I say to open her up. Like nice shoes. Whatever she says, I'll say okay. So you're a roller, a folder, or a tosser. Now, in British, tossing means this, but okay. <laughs> Within a minute, I'll say, are you a roller, a folder, or a tosser? I've never had a woman say, have a negative response. She'll say, what do you mean? I'll say, okay. Then I'll stand to the side of her. I'll go, we're leaving on vacation, our fantasy vacation. You're packing our bags. Do you roll the clothes? Do you toss them, or do you fold them? And no matter what she says, I'm skeptical. She'll say, oh, I fold them. I go, you're a folder? You understand? Mm -hmm. yep. But by the way, and once she, I'm screening her, then I'll say, okay, so now that we're on our vacation, where are we? Really, describe it to me. And now within five minutes of talking to her, she's imagining going on an exotic vacation with me. You think this is bullshit, guys, but I do this. Yep. And they go right along with it. Why do they go along with it? Because I'm congruent. I expect that it's going to work, so it does. 